Frank Ocean, an artist with a unique blend of R&B, electronica, psychedelic rock and hip hop. Working with top producers like Melee, Omar's Keith and Pharrell Williams, his distinctive production captures our ears with that beautiful state of melancholic bliss. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the production secrets behind Frank Ocean's sound. All over Blonde, we hear the whirly eyes are in songs like Good Guy, it's a good guy, healed it up. Which is a go-to sound when it comes to Frank Ocean's production. This was often layered with Fender Rose, just like in the song Be Yourself. So in Whirly's Analog Lab, I use this DX Whirly preset, layered with a Stage 73. Next is creating them lo-fi textures, which is distinct to Frank's sound. Just like in this video by Meili. Like a tape emulator plug-in. Get some like wobble to it. So I got the piano sound and I pitched it up and I chopped it up in different sections to make it a little bit more realistic. And to give it that tonal texture, I use this portal ratio chasers preset. Next is the Vox Continental organ. So I'm gonna start with the uh, the Vox. It instantly kind of makes it sound more lo-fi. And I use this Saint Pierre preset, which sounded like this. But this wasn't giving me that psychedelic sound that I wanted, so I added these effects. And it was still a little bit too overpowering, and to give it that lo-fi texture, I downsampled it to 4K. favorite Arturia plugins I use a lot, uh, it's the Mini Moog. Next is the groovy bass line from the Mini Moog that you can hear on Pyramids. Like diamonds in a... Next is the synth runs, which is used in songs like Lost. Care you like this. Now you're lost. And these are done using the Prophet 5. Then I got the same runs, reverse them and doubled them by two. And which as you can see, added automation so it's rising in. And I also layered this with a run from Splice. I was missing that fullness that you often hear in songs like White Ferrari. Luck to talk on these which kind of sounded to me like a Juno layered with a choir. So I used this reverse views from the Juno. Then in the advanced section for the delay, I just turned it up to give it some more depth. Then I used this CMI choir, which I just filtered the cut off. And in songs like Dear April, you hear them vibrant, spacey guitars. The only face in a crowd that I know. So I layered these guitar licks from Splice with these effects. 
and that just adds to the beautiful ambient sound I was going for. Then lastly, I just chopped up some percussion loops to just sound like this. Moving on to the drums. Frank's tracks allow for a lot of room, so I didn't want to add too much. So I added these two hi-hats. Then a mixture of live snares and snaps. Then I added this kick along with delay and reverb, just like in the song White Ferrari. Then lastly, just some extra percussion. And together, it just sounds like this. Okay. 